Hey everyone, this is my double whip shea butter and shea butter lotion recipe. You will need a large bowl, about a half pound of organic unrefined shea butter, unrefined coconut oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, and a hand mixer that also has a whisk attachment. Not shown here, but you will see it later. Okay, so let's get started. First, scrape the shea butter into the bowl. Next, fill a quarter cup halfway with sweet almond oil. Then fill the remaining eighth of a cup with jojoba oil. Set that aside and add a dropper or two of your vitamin E oil. And you can add your essential oils here too, if you want. Next, pour a half cup of coconut oil. It is easier to measure when it is liquid. If it isn't, do not warm it. It will warm as you blend with the shea butter. And then set it aside. Begin to break up the shea butter. After blending for a couple minutes, add about half of your coconut oil. Set aside the remaining coconut oil for future use. In fact, we will use that to make our shea butter lotion. Pour in half of your almond oil and jojoba oil mix and begin to whip again. It helps to turn a bowl as you mix from time to time. Now take a spatula or a butter knife and scrape the sides of the bowl to make sure you get all of the unmixed portions. This is the time to check the smoothness of your butter. And it helps to smooth some in your skin to see how you like the feel. So now is the time to switch the mixer beaters and put in the whisk beater. To avoid waste, scrape whatever is on the spatula off with a beater. That way, whatever was on the spatula is ready to mix in with the rest. At this point, it will start to look and feel like whipped cream. So now it's time to jar the butter, but before we do, leave about three fourths to a whole cup of shea butter to make your lotion. I don't pipe in my shea butter with plastic bags, just because I feel like I am wasting butter when I see there's some left I can't squeeze out. So I put some in and I tap to settle the butter. Now you have your nourishing double whipped shea butter. Next, we will make our shea butter lotion. Okay, you will need a small bowl. Pour in your remaining oils and measure about a quarter cup more of your mixed oils. And this is the time to add a little essential oils. Adding a dollop of shea butter at a time. We will use the whisk attachment with the shea butter on it and whisk the butter and oil until smooth and to the thickness you desire. Just a note, there is very little separation of the oils and butters over time. If there is any, just give it a little shake and it will go back to the consistency it was before you bottled it. So my lotion is thick smooth and creamy. Now it's time to bottle the lotion. 
I happen to have a recycled and thoroughly rinsed seven generation soap bottle. And since I don't have a funnel, I will have to pump all the lotion in. And yes, my hand got really tired, but it's muscle building. Oh, and I started to use an old medicine syringe, but that would have taken much longer. And there we have it, our homemade shea butter lotion. Now I'm going to show you how this shea butter leaves my hair moisturized and shiny. If you want more tutorials, check out my honey mayo conditioner recipe and my drunken vanilla sugar body scrub recipe. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.